Hey, Leo, you're German, right? Aren't you supposed to have a lot of bush? So where is it then? You look awfully clean shaven. Wait a minute, where are you going? Come back! Uh, I think I scared them off. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> now that's a lot of bush. And what's that? You're excited about our sponsor today? Rise of Kingdoms is a free-to-play cross-platform strategy game that combines building and real-time battles. Recently, Rise of Kingdoms has added the new Egyptian civilization, which I think is pretty cool, by the way. This brand new civilization comes with powerful troops and sophisticatedly designed heroes. Not interested in Egyptian lore? Well, don't worry, because you can choose any of the 13 civilizations that have appeared in history, recruit hundreds of historical generals, train the special soldiers of each civilization, break through to the next era in history, collect resources, develop technology, and build your dream city. The bigger your city, the more upgrades and research you can put into your army, the more powerful you become. You can even start alliances with your friends across two platforms, that's mobile and PC. You can farm together, destroy barbarians, or participate in kingdom battles across a 1.4 million square kilometer map. And together, you can rule the world. Click on the link in the description below or scan the QR code. New players can get 200 diamonds and 2 silver keys using the code PLAYROK now. By participating in in-game community events, new and current players will have the chance to win a round trip to Egypt. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing the Leo 2 Panzer Battalion 123, which is essentially a Leo 2A4 from the tech tree with premium, a lot of bush and a really big log. And what could be more German than a lot of bush and a really big log? Well, a Leo tank, of course. Now I'm going to start this thing positively. This is a very good tank for 10.0, but really honestly, just 10.0. You will see 11.0 vehicles like the BVM, T90s, the scary Abrams and stuff like that. And this round that it fires just doesn't really cut the mustard. Or the composite armor for that matter. 410 millimeters of pen. This is actually a very good round. It does well at its BR, like I said. Very fast, no, very fast firing at 1600 meters per second. But against scary things, not so good. It does get Gen 1 thermals, which are very low res. And again, against 11.0 vehicles, they're running generally high res thermals, which is much more competitive and they can see you straight through your bushes, no problem at all. But the biggest downside is this thing costs $60 or £60, 60 euros, etc. And it's the same rank as the Leo A1A1 L44. And this thing gets a better silver line modifier. 450% silver line modifier on this. And only 218 on the Leo 2A4. Now, of course, the 2A4 is a better tank than the L44. But the L44 doesn't see 11.0. And at 9.0, it's fantastic. It gets the same thermals. It gets a slightly lesser round, but less difficult tanks to deal with. The DM-13. Yeah. This is the best buy. The Leo A1A1 L44. And then you've got another premium vehicle to help you grind the TAM-2 IP. I wouldn't buy this. It's very expensive for what it is. I wouldn't say don't buy premium vehicles, because then I'd be a hypocrite. I've got very many of them, and yes, I've bought them with my own money. Uh, yeah. This is a better buy. Don't buy a 2A4. If you're thinking about grinding the German tech tree, this has the same reward modifier for RP, faces less scary enemies, and does better at his battle rain, let's be honest. On to the 2A4's armor at 10.0, it does very well. This is the Abrams round. It's able to kill your breach. It can go through your upper front plate, take you out that way. But your turret cheeks are quite strong against this round at 10.0. But when we move on to other things... This is the striker, 9.7 as the M900 round, and then we go to the IPM1, which again is the same round, and then you go even higher with the M1A1 Abrams, with this guy, yeah. It's not very survivable at all against these things. Now it does have decent mobility, very good gun handling, the turret rotation speed is okay, it will deal with that, elevation speed is great, and it has laser rangefinder of course. What I'm basically telling you is, if you're a newer player, you're thinking about grinding the German tech tree, you clicked on this video to see how this thing is. It's a very good tank, but it's not as good as the Leo L44. I promise you. Anyway, let's take this bad boy out and see how we get on. Right, dude, we're on El Amin. I hope they haven't removed other El Amin. Because I actually haven't seen it. That'd be very sad, actually. Although, I do like this map layout. With the three caps. Got under these rocks at a C cap and oh, here, here we go. The 
Okay, range fine. That was a Rika. You be careful because uh, okay, he's dead. The sand is a. Uh, the top layer of sand is definitely shootable. Someone's on B. What's that? I don't like BMB to M's. I think there's two things here as well. Oh, Bradley died. Okay, I got his breach at least. Can I wiggle out of this? There we go. What the heck's I'm wondering? Pushing like a lunatic looks like. He just got clapped there. Right, his BMP still alive, right? I can't see this dude, I can't see him. Non pen, it's a Chrysler. Dude, my teammates are dropping so much Ari, I can't see what's going on. More Ari. That Roy cat is still up there. Right, okay. Not a single kill yet. I'll be honest, I'm not here for caps. Is that a T-34? Is I got his fuel? What? His fuel tank ate my entire APFSDS round. Okay, dude. Okay. Oh, there goes that. At the limit of my uh, gun depression travel. Should I have my thermals on at this point? Probably should have, since there's a guy right there. Looked like he wasn't looking my way. No, stop that. I'm trying to help you, but I need to do so from a safer spot. Working on it, Chief. I'm working on it. Okay, one might come up behind me. The helicopter's still alive, right? Not anymore. Please, no Billy, please, no Billy, please, no Billy. He's gonna drive in like a lunatic. Oh my god, I almost got bull popped. That was an SU7. Okay. I'm hoping there's no one else. Oh, there is one else on here. Found a Ruka from the start of the match. Right. This is uh, this has gone well for us so far on this run. What is that? It's a Russian hover sausage. Actually doing hovering. Right. I don't really want this cap either. It's just good to know we've decapped it. My teammate will get it, and he probably needs more spawn points than I do. Might lose C. Keep fishing up. Okay, and then there's a a BMP two, I think, not an M, just a BMP two. Let's get up this way. How are we doing? Six kills, three assists. So I'm quite happy with that. We should get some decent RP out of this. 
There's the hover sausage right there. No, that's a, a different kind of hover sausage, a British hover sausage. A link sausage. Oh dear. We're losing control guy a bit. Holy moly, what happened here? A literal massacre. What is happening when my tank is drifting up the hill? The Harrier's still alive. I think my teammates absolutely melted them. There's another jet coming. That is a Russian hover sausage. Oh dear. That that's literally their spawn. That's the scariest thing that we've seen yet. Right, well it's over. It's definitely done. GG. Right, so in that game for nine nine minutes and uh well, five five K research. It's not really great honestly. Right, dude, we got top tier, 11 0. And this map still exists. Glad to see. Well, not against Russia, USA, I might give this a minute. USA, Britain, Israel. <laughs> what was that little hop you just did, dude? Moderna is slamming someone down there. Okay, we're, we're in a good spot right now. For the time being... Oh dear. These two guys might try and get up there. Very scary Macava boy. He's got a friend. Good. I need to keep an eye out on that other dude. We're not gonna last long up here. I wouldn't think so. A lab. Perfect shot placement. Uh, I don't know where that. The other guy is obviously scared to go up there now, right? We have. Something's close to me. I got shot from behind. And again. Okay, turret ring, but not good enough. I'm not actually sure where I'm getting hit from. Did I get shot from behind by a heli or something? I was like, I can shot from that guy. I don't know what shot me from behind to begin with. Right, let's go again. You can tell all the new players are complaining about I killed your gunner, but you can still shoot. We're getting a bag, but our teammates getting slammed by a heli, of course. A Crusader. Let me guess here, a premium Charlie too. A rag flag's keeping us safe from enemy aircraft. There goes my alouette. And here comes an M1A1. Went down here, right? It's a lot faster than me. I got his loader. So bad. I'll try and get round there. Well, no prizes for guessing where that guy's coming from, right? I 
deal with this dude first. Oh, never mind. It's just a stir. Oh, my game. What happened to mine? Okay. Right, okay, then. Whatever you say, Gaijin. There's quite a lot of enemies left. You just saw a Swedish thing fly around this corner here. And another guy there. It's a lab. Will you stop doing that game? I mean, that's a breach shot. Yeah, it was. My game keeps minimizing. Right. Back up here again. Something to do with the uh, water on their OBS. Happened yesterday, too. Got a loader. Orange breach. I think a teammate's about to finish him off. Never mind. PR him. A right flag panzer thing is trying to deal with these aircraft. And I just saw a missile launch from the other side of the map. Nothing going on up here. Nope. Somebody shoot my Leo 25 over here. I don't think there's anything I can do to help right now. A Chrysler XM1. Might get one more kill in for the road. Gonna have to go for that. A Wally. Is that our timid guy? The woman no kills. From the start. No, it's not. What am I hearing there? Uh, an M247. Is that our timid guy? Oh, it's Jacob again. There's a helicopter coming. There's ours. Oh, he's dead. He's dead, dude. Where the hell is Mr. Cocoa Puffs in? Is this guy gonna respawn? You killed that guy on purpose, dude. Don't say sorry. Found him. He sat here. Oh, it's the guy with all the load here things. Did he get dragged in? No, he didn't. Is that Napalm? No way. We got to see Napalm for the first time. Dude, look, look at this guy as well. You're a loser taking out your dedicated air fighter and ground RB, buddy. Why? He's doing anti cast. Anyway, GG. Game lasted a little longer. A hey, 7000 RP, 62k silver lines. Still not very good RP. Just a quick disclaimer the RP gain is different on a test drive than it is to an actual tank that you've purchased. So I won't get all of the RP benefits, so it will round, be around about 50% extra eh, of whatever I got in the matches, which is still quite a lot of research points you need for especially top tier vehicles, of which I have all of them. Eh, yeah, still not as good as the L44. If you're a new player, if you're grinding the German tech tree and you've got $60 to spend, get this guy, not that guy. This is a really good lineup too in 9 -0. Uh, and you can still take it to 9.3, it'll do just as well. And 9.3, you've got some serious firepower. If you'd like to see me do a video on the L44 instead of this thing, let me know in the comments box below. I'll definitely do it in a, as a comparison to this. Uh, I'll prove it, basically, is what I'm saying. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching today. Much love, and bye bye